Hey, I'm Johnny May from Piano with Johnny, and today I'm going to teach you Oh Christmas Tree in a really jazzy style. This is so much fun to play. Check out what you're going to learn in today's lesson. So as you can hear, it's super groovy, it's super fun. And I'm gonna walk you through this arrangement. You're not only gonna learn all of the notes, but I'm gonna show you all of the tools that I use to create this uh, style of playing. Basically, I'm going to empower you so that you can take pretty much any song and arrange it in this style, okay? So we're gonna start off with the lead sheet. And the lead sheet is the melody and the chords. And we're gonna talk about, you know, basically, the chords in root position. I'm going to start you off with the chords very simply, but then we're going to talk about this cool left hand pattern. And you know, what am I doing? How do you create this left hand pattern? These are called shells, and I'm going to teach you uh, how to play shells and then how to use shells on this particular tune. We're going to add the right hand, but I'm going to show you how to swing the right hand. This is very important to take a melody like Oh Christmas Tree that's very straight and basic and swing it, right? Okay, we're gonna then take that melody, we're gonna harmonize it. I'm gonna show you these really cool harmony, harmonies. In the right hand, they're very uh, actually simple to play. Um, and then I'm gonna show you some um, effects that you can add to the arrangement. Uh, effects like slides. We're gonna talk about uh, tremolos, where you take the chord and you rock the chord. Uh, we're gonna talk about filler lines that you can use. I'm also going to show you how to create an intro and an outro. And I'm going to show you three intros that you can use. It's your choice. Whichever way you want to start off the tune, uh, grooving over the chords is one, playing the last four measures, and then an arpeggiated C7, which sets up the song. I'm going to show you that. By the way, I really break these down nice and slowly. Um, and then at the very end, we're going to talk about how to solo. And I actually spend about 20 minutes in this lesson talking specifically about soloing and how to invent really fun lines where you play stuff like Okay, so we're going to talk quite a bit about soloing and then we're going to put the whole song together and uh, this arrangement is a lot of fun to play. Now this is a beginner intermediate level lesson, so if, you, if you've had no playing experience, this lesson is for you. And if you're on the early side of being an intermediate player, this lesson is for you. Um, and if you're an intermediate advanced level pianist, I have an intermediate advanced level course on this lesson, so be sure to check that out. Now in this preview lesson, I'm going to teach you a portion of the lesson and you can find the full length lesson at pianowithjohnny.com. So let's go ahead and start the lesson. Okay, now we're going to really start to groove. I want to show you what this section is going to sound like, but now the left hand is really digging in. Check it out. We've got this left hand going chunk, 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 okay? There's a few names for this. One name is called four on the floor. It means uh, every beat, you're, you're, you're sort of playing a bass note, right? Four beats uh, in each measure. One, two, three, four. One, two, and the left hand's going, you know, a chunk, 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 okay? Now, <clears throat> what am I playing in my left hand? You may notice that I'm only playing two notes a lot of the time, okay? What on earth am I doing? Well, these are called shells. 
a shell. And a shell is a really neat way of playing a chord without playing the full chord. It's actually a more simple way of playing the chord and it's a lot easier to maneuver between chords because as you re just recall, when we were playing the chords, sometimes we had to jump to the chord in order to play it in root position, okay? And this is a way that we sort of solve for this uh, challenge is we can play shells, which means we don't have to jump quite as far between chords and we don't have to play all four notes of the chord, okay? So the way shells work is a very sort of simple uh, concept. Uh, you take a chord, for example, I've put up here a B flat seven chord, and you sort of have two options. You can either play the root and the third of the chord, which is like that, B flat and D, if you were playing a B flat dominant seven chord, or you can play the root and the seventh, okay? Now, I said earlier, you need to know the chords in order to do the shells. And the reason why is, if you don't know the, the root and the third and the seventh of the chord, how are you gonna play the shells, okay? So this is why you need to know the chords, because if you know the chord is a B flat seven, well, this is the root, the, or the one, this is the three, the third, this is the five, and this is the seven. One, three, five, and seven, okay? So, the way shells work, you can do root third or root seven, okay? Let's do another chord, let's do G minor. What if you were playing a G minor? Well, G minor seven is down here. This is the one, three, five, and seven. So the shell would be using the root and third, okay? And I have this notated here in the sheet music. By the way, if you don't read sheet music, it's totally okay. You don't have to uh, read the sheet music, but many students wanna see the sheet music, so there it is. Um, but that's how it works, G and B flat, okay? Root and third, and then the root and seven would be there, G and F, okay? That's how it works, guys. Shells, they're very, it's a very simple concept, and this is how you do it. You play the root third, or the root seven, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna apply this technique to uh, Oh Christmas Tree, okay? And how do we do it? Well, there's a few sort of ways you can do it. The essential idea is you take your chord progression, which starts you know, on an F, uh, F major. You could start here on the root and the third of F major, okay? And then you wanna to go to a B flat seven chord. Well, what's your closest B flat seven? It's right there. Root seven, B flat and A flat, okay? And then you're gonna to go to an A minor. Well, that's just here, root seven. You see that? And then a D seven, well, if you went to the root and third of a D seven, it's here, D and uh, F sharp. See how close that is? You see how that works? We're going to the root and the third. And then on the G minor seven chord, what's the closest G minor seven? We can go here, G and F. You see how close that is? And then the C seven, uh, let's go to the root and third. It's right there, okay? So you, hopefully you're noticing that we're not having to jump around so much between the chords, okay? So you can start once again up here on F, root third. Then you can go root seven on the B flat root seven on the A minor seven, root third on the, on the D seven chord, root seven on the G, root third on the C, and then you could go root seven, uh, F and E. But we're gonna change it just a little bit. Um, sometimes on major chords, um, I like to go root fifth. It kinda has a beefy sound, it kinda locks the chord in, okay? so. On the F chord, you could start up here, that's totally fine, and do as we just did. But I, I, I like to use this lower position. You're gonna see why later, because in the arrangement, we use some kind of hip chords, okay? We're gonna do some cool chords later. So that's the reason why we do it down here, but just keep this in mind. Sometimes on a major chord, I use root and fifth, F and C, okay? So let's go ahead and play the first phrase. We're just looking at the left hand right now. It's an F6 chord. We're gonna use root and five, root fifth on the first, basically two, two beats. So we have one, two, and play that with me. One, two, then B flat seven, that's up here. We're gonna do that twice. Then we're gonna to go to an A minor seven. 
We already learned these chords, A and G, that's twice. The D7, that's the root and the third of a D, okay, that's twice. G minor 7, that's twice. C7, root and third, and then the F. That's the root and fifth, and then we're going to turn it around, we're going to go to a C7, we could go here, that's totally fine, but we're going to go root and seventh up here, and the, the reason for this, you'll see later in the arrangement, is we're going to hit some kind of cool chords, but just keep this in mind, root seven on the C7, okay? That is the first phrase, and I want to go now to the second phrase, which is essentially the same thing, okay? Root fifth on the F, twice on the B flat seven, A minor seven, D seven, that's the root and the third of D, G minor seven, C seven, that's the root third, and then the F, okay? Now, we're gonna move into the B section, and the B section goes to an A minor chord, okay? See this A minor here? And a, a neat way to go to an A minor is to just walk up, F, G, A, see that? So we're on the F, okay? So what you can do on the G is you can turn it into a G minor seven. And we have that here in the music, G minor seven, okay? So on this measure, we're gonna go root five on the F, and then G, F on the G minor seven, okay? This is a shell for G minor seven, okay? Let's keep going. A minor seven, let's go root seven, A, G, that'll be twice. One, two, then we have a D7. Uh, then the G minor seven. And this one we're gonna go four times. Then a B flat minor seven. Let's use root and seven here. B flat, A flat. Okay. One, two, and then E flat seven, three, four. This is the root and the third, that'll be twice, okay? Then we have A minor seven, D seven. Bam, look how close that is, right? Root seven, root third. This is the D seven. And then G seven, G and F. And then the C seven, root and third. Okay, you see how this works? You don't have to jump so much between chords. A minor seven, D seven, G seven, C seven. There's not a lot of movement in the left hand. This makes shells a very nice technique when you're playing jazz piano, especially if you're playing fast. It really allows you to jump between chords. Okay, last phrase. We're back to how we started. F6. Hopefully you're starting to see these patterns and you're uh, hopefully you know exactly what to play. We have F6 twice, B flat seven. We're up here. We've already played this now a couple times. Uh, A minor seven, D seven. G7, uh, C7, and then F6, that's gonna be down here. And then we're gonna end the tune with a little low F down there, okay? Just for now, just to put a little button on the end, all right? That is the left hand, guys, and uh, it is not terribly hard to play. Let's walk through the whole left hand once, and then we're gonna add the right hand, okay? Here we go, nice and slowly, and play along with me. Okay, here it is. Two, three, four, one, two, B flat, four, A minor seven, D seven, G minor seven, C seven, F, C seven, and this repeats. Here it is. F, B flat, D seven, Now we're gonna go G minor seven. Here's the A minor. And G minor seven, four times. Three, four, B flat minor seven. We're moving through all the chords. Now we got the fast ones. A, D, G, C, F. G minor seven. C7, one, and two, and three, four, okay? 
that is the left hand. And you really wanna kinda of speed that up a little bit. I think a good tempo for you would be about here. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. Four. You hear it kind of starts to groove now, right? So I want you to, sh you to shoot for this tempo, okay? All right, once you've played the left hand and you feel really good with the left hand, let's add the right hand to this, okay? And it's fairly simple, right hand is mostly quarter notes, okay? So we have O, Chris, Tree, O, Chris, Mas, Tree, your leaves are so unchanging. And then C7. Oh, that's together. Okay. Let's look at the next phrase. Chris, Mas, Tree, O, Chris. E, G, F. Okay, that's the end of the phrase. Let's keep going up now. That's together, and now we're into the B section. Here we go. Three, four, now B flat minor seven. Okay, next part, this is, there's a lot of movement here. Oh, you see how that works? Okay, last phrase, Chris. That is how the hands line up, and you're gonna to wanna to play that without any metronome. Just play that by yourself. Uh, get really comfortable with the hands together. And then the idea here is you can start to speed it up a little bit, start to groove, okay? Let's do it medium slow, okay? One, two, here we go. And there's a pickup, by the way, for one, okay? One, two, three, oh, Christmas tree, okay? Here it is. One, Two, three, oh Christmas tree. G minor seven. Flat minor seven. Here's all the movement. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, so get it at a nice medium slow tempo, then speed it up a little more. If you can do it at that tempo, you are rocking. That is a nice tempo, okay? So really try to shoot for that tempo. And the goal here, I would say with this section, is to memorize it, okay? Because you, if you, you, know, you want to automate uh, this portion. We're gonna be adding more and more layers to this arrangement. So it's very important to memorize it and sort of get it in your hands. Uh, try to automate it. That way, when you learn new things, you're, you're freeing your mind up, your sort of mental real estate to think about these other layers. So great job. Okay, you are rocking and rolling. And the next step is to swing the melody, okay? Because we got a cool left hand, we got these shells, uh, we've got a nice melody, but the melody is kind of straight. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, it's very sort of boxy. And we want it to sound jazzy. We want it to be like,
okay? And so that's what we're doing here. We're gonna still play the shells. But now that melody is, is, is being swung. We wanna swing the melody, okay? Hey, thanks for watching this preview course and you can get the full length lesson at pianowithjohnny.com and be sure to check out the Piano With Johnny membership. This gives you access to all of our video courses and a huge selection of sheet music. Uh, you're gonna learn styles that you really love, not just jazz, but blues and boogie and uh, ragtime and stride piano and, and funk and Latin music, lots and lots of different styles and songs. Uh, we have lessons for all playing levels, beginner, intermediate and advanced pianists so be sure to check that out and um, also when you become a member you get to be part of the piano with johnny community where we do live q a's every month and we do a live workshop where you can interact with me and i'll give you personalized coaching also if you want to try the intermediate advanced version of this lesson you can check it out at pianowithjohnny.com it's a lot of fun so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care